think of your singing legends, you do think of all the big greats, don't you? Dean Martin, Frank Sinatra, Sammy Davis Jr., alongside the wonderful girls, Petula Clark, Judy Garland, Anne Southern, all of these wonderful singers, and of course, that gave so many wonderful songs. There's still some of them with us, by the way, and here's one today that I wanted to share a very fond story that they told me about meeting our gracious majesty, the Queen. Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the very heart of London. I thought this little series might appeal to you because, you know, I've often said, of, you know, when you meet the Queen, it must be strange, you know. I love the Joan Rivers joke, do you remember, when she said she'd never met the Queen before, so she went over and licked the back of her head. She'd only ever seen her on a stamp. Cruel, but funny. And even the Queen apparently found that quite amusing. Now, one superstar of the 50s and 60s that did get to meet Our Gracious Majesty the Queen more than once was none other than this particular gentleman. He was known as the wholesome guy of the 50s, alongside the more rebellious people, if you like, like James Dean, Montgomery Clift, you know. We're talking, of course, about the brilliant Pat Boone. Now, way back in 1958 at London's Coliseum Theatre, he was asked to perform in front of Our Gracious Majesty the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh. And he couldn't believe the people he was on the bill with, some mega greats of that particular time, as one can imagine. And it was interesting because Pat said, you know, when he came over there, he was very young, he's a teen idol, you know, he's seen as a little bit rebellious, although he was marketed as wholesome. What's interesting to note, though, with Pat, a few years later, once again, he met Her, the, Her Majesty the Queen, I think around about 1962, and apparently Princess Margaret was a huge fan of his music, naturally. So he said he's really nervous, you know, she's coming up the line, that sort of thing. And, um, you know, he told everybody he'd met her before, so he shouldn't be nervous, whatever. And uh, Her Majesty the Queen gets up to him, takes his hand, they shake hands, and she said, nice to see you. He said, nice to see you. She said, we've met before. He said, have we? Now, apparently this sort of took her back a little bit because she was a bit stunned by this remark and said, yes, we have. And according to Pat, was able to recount exactly where and when and what they talked about. Now, what Pat said was he basically sort of got it wrong. You know, he knew they'd met, obviously, but he said it was just nerves overtook him. He couldn't believe it. Apparently, Our Gracious Majesty the Queen found this highly amusing and said, maybe you'll... Maybe you'll remember the next time we meet. Ooh, can you imagine? What I love about those particular stories is these are moments in time that only when you think about it is a very young boy at that point is enjoying international stardom and suddenly being presented to the world's most famous woman, the recently crowned glorious monarch, Queen Elizabeth II. And what I find nice about this is, even at that very young age of which uh, Queen Elizabeth would have been, she knew exactly how to put people at ease. Even if they were international superstars, like the American legend that is, Pat Boone. And by the way, he's currently still working today, well into his 80s, and annoyingly, still looks as young as ever. <laughs> Neil Sean in the very heart of London.